Hello everyone. Thank you for checking out this video and welcome back to our channel. For today's video, we are going to show how to prepare our plan views, creating view template and setting it up on the sheets or title blocks. But before we start our tutorial, if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the notification bell and leave a comment down below. Thank you. We are using this Autodesk Revit basic sample project which is showing you a well put up sheet in a title block with perspectives and a schedule. So right now we are going to do a tutorial on how to prepare a plan view, set it up and add it into the sheet with the title block. Under the sheets of the project browser, there are samples here that are already set up, so we are going to open this plan. As you can see, the sheet has the floor plan set up already. Now we are going to show how to set up a sheet. First is to right click on the sheets, then let's select new sheet. Then we are going to select a title block from this dialog box. It is already selecting the A1 metric title block, then clicking OK. Then we will have this black sheet, and notice that we have here on the project browser the unnamed sheet which is currently added. Once we select and right click, we can add a view into our new sheet. It will show us the list of views that we can add in the sheet. So in this list are the views that are not yet added in any of the sheets in the file because Revit does not allow views to be added in multiple sheets unless it has different naming. Let's cancel this and show you guys what we mean. Let's scroll up and go to the views. Under floor plans, let's select level 1. There are two ways to add views into the sheets. First is the add view which we showed earlier. Then second is by dragging the view into the sheet. Let's drag level 1 into the sheet and see what happens. This dialog box will appear which tells us that level 1 is already placed on another sheet, which is sheet A102, the sheet that we opened a while ago. This is what we mean that we cannot have views added into multiple sheets. Let's close this. So now we will right click on level 1, then select duplicate view. There are three types to duplicate, but we are going to choose duplicate with detailing. This means that all the detailed settings in the previous view will be duplicated into this new plan view. But we are going to remove the colors on the plan right now. So we will go to Properties, then go to the Color Scheme, select Name. Then on this dialog box, let's change it to None. Then OK. Let's delete this also. Let's go back to the project browser, then click on the level 1 copy 1. We are basically going to rename it to different to separate it from the other level 1 plan. So we named it with the scale on the suffix. Then let's change the scale to 200. Hmm, looks bad. Let's change it to another scale. Okay, this is better. So we are going to rename it also to 50 scale. This is just to keep your plan view organized and gives you the information of the scale just by reading the project browser. Let's duplicate level 2 as well. Same thing, we choose duplicate with detailing. Then we are going to rename it also to 50 scale. Okay, let's go back first to level 1. We are going to clean up the plan a bit and show you how to create a view template. Let's go back to Properties and open the Visibility Graphics. Under Model Categories, go to Rooms then let's untick Reference here. Then OK. Then let's go to the Graphics Display Options, then select the drop-down button on the Shadow, then tick the box for Cast Shadow. Then select OK. We are creating a presentation plan that shows the shadows to give it depth and life. Let's go back to the graphic display options. We are going to adjust the shadows to something that we prefer. Okay, let's go to the lighting. Then we are going to play around with setting. We are making the shadow lighter. 
Then okay. Yeah, I think I am satisfied with the plan now. We are ready to set the template. Let's go to the View tab, then select the View Templates icon, and then select Create Template from Current View. Then from the New View Template dialog box, we are going to type the name of our view template. Let name it 50 Scale Plan with Shadows. Then OK. So on the Properties, select the View Template, then we are going to select the new template that we created. Then OK. Then let's go to the Project Browser, then select Level 250 Scale. Then on Properties, let's apply also the View Template. Now Level 1 and Level 2 have the same plan setting. Any changes on the View Template will update both Level 1 and Level 2. Okay, that was about View Template. We are ready to add the plan views to Sheets. Let's go to A004 Sheet. Then select Level 1 and drag into the Sheet. On Properties, under Extents, tick Crop Region View and Annotation Crop. Once the Crop Region is visible, select, then adjust to fit the title block. The length of the view name line can also be adjusted. Just select, then drag to the desired length. We can also set the view name that appears on the title block. To do that, Go to Properties, select the view, then on the title on Sheet, let's type another name. First Level Plan. We are going to create another sheet for Level 2, and we are going to do that by showing the other way of adding views into the sheet. So let's go back to the Project Browser. Right-click on the Sheets, then select a new sheet. Then we are going to right-click on the new sheet. Then select Add View. From the list of views, select Level 250 Scale and select Add View to Sheet. Once the view is added to the sheet, we will do the same to this sheet like the settings that we did for Level 1. We are going to type the title on Sheet. Second level plan. Then we are going to adjust the length of the view name line. Alright, that's it for now. We hope that you have learned how to set up the plan views, adding shadows to the plan views, create view template, adding plan views into sheets, and setting them up. We hope that you have fun watching and hope you also learn something new about Revit. See you again in our next video. Thank you for watching.